Hello everybody, and welcome back to another tutorial on the Hexit series. Uh, my name is Sean and our creativity, and today we are going to be looking at the Chocobo mod. Um, the Chocobo mod is basically taming, breeding, and a whole bunch to do with these birds right here. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so, these are the basic things you're going to need. The first five things. You have your Chocobo. Um, you usually find these out in the wild, but you can get yellow chocobo eggs from dungeons. I've gotten quite a few. You're going to need some straw, obviously some fence too. Um, you'll need some gishol greens. They're probably like geisel or gisal, but I like gishol because I think it sounds cool. And you'll need a chocopedia. Now, these uh, gishol greens are what you use to actually tame your chocobo. So, you'll get a couple fails, and then you'll get the hearts, and he'll get the little yellow uh, band around his neck, and that means he's yours. You then can use the Chocopedia, which is created from four chocobo feathers, a gold nugget, a book, two ink sacks, and a lapis lazuli um, piece. You can use that on him. It'll show his name, which is Sparky, uh, and you can rename him to anything you want. You can set him to wander, or stay, or follow, and yeah, so um, that's that for those things. For the Gishel Greens, you can uh, find these all around the world, they're pretty much everywhere, but um, if you put, here let me get out of creative mode real quick, if you put one of these in your crafting area, it'll give you three Gishel Seeds, and those can be used and planted and create um, more Gishels, but the biggest thing is that you can sometimes get Loverly Gishels, which uh, I'll explain what those do a little bit later. Okay, so that's that for the basics. Now if we head over here, I'm going to show you all of the different kinds of birds, and as you can see, there are plenty. So we're going to start down here. These are the basic yellow ones. These are the ones that you always find in the wild. Um, shut up, birds. These are the ones you always find in the wild, and they do absolutely nothing special. They just look cool. Um, if we head over here, the blue ones actually can swim. If, if you're riding them. this is I think this is all if you're riding them. The green ones can climb. The white ones can climb and swim. The black ones can jump, climb, and swim. The golden ones can jump, climb, take no fall damage, swim, and are very fast, and can also fly. The pink and the red ones, I don't know why I have two sets of pink, but the pink and the red ones can do the exact same things as the gold ones, but they're just a different color. And these ones here, which are, they look red to me, but they're actually called a purple one, and you can only find them in the end and the nether. They can actually do all of the things the previous ones can do. Plus, they um, are res uh, fire resistant. So, I thought that was pretty cool. So, that's the different colors. When it comes to gender, as you can see, um, there's obviously different genders, otherwise, breeding wouldn't be possible. You can always tell the gender by whether or not it has the rainbow colored hair. If it has the rainbow colored hair, it is a male. If not, it is a female. And a lot of people don't know that. Okay, so, next we'll discuss breeding. Let's find a guy and a girl here. Oh. Boko and Luna. We're going to make you guys fall in love and you just use your Louverly Gushels, which come from uh, farming up the Gushel Greens. Sometimes you'll get a Louverly one. And they just made a little baby. And that's usually how you get different colors. Like if you breed two yellows, sometimes you'll get like a blue and then you do a yellow and a blue and it'll different, give you a different color. So uh, all you're going to start with is some yellows. And in order to actually... Um, do anything with this guy, you've got to first make him yours. So, let's get him out of the way. And now he's mine. And next we'll show you the Gishel Cake, which is made from two wheat, a Gishel Green, two sugar, an egg, and two milk. And the cool thing about this is it instantly, boom, grows him up to a male. And let's see who we have here. We have Quake. Oh, that's a cool name. And that's uh, a little bit about breeding. Alright, up next we're actually going to ride one of these bad boys. So, uh, we, here we have Chocobo saddlebags and a saddle. And we also have um, the third set of uh, items, which is the pack bags. 
The saddlebags and the pack bags are just two different sizes. This one is made from three leather and the chocobo feather. And this one is made from two wool, four string, a chocobo feather, and the leather. So I'm guessing that this one's the bigger one. And then you have the saddle, which is made from a leather, a chocobo feather, and two string. And chocobo feathers drop all the time, just randomly in these uh, pens, or wherever you keep your chocobo. You can just go through and collect a lot of feathers. See? I've already got 28. So we're going to go ahead and pop a saddle on this bad boy. Well, we're going to turn the rain off first. So there's a saddle. Yep, look at that. He's got a saddle on him. Let's go ahead and... Oh, maybe these bags won't work. So let's pop on some bags. And now we can move along. Look how fast we're going. Whew. Okay. Kind of glitching my world up a little bit. Okay. So, this guy moves pretty fast. He, he can go over a block pretty quickly. And spacebar does let him fly. And spacebar and a combination moving forward with WASD can also make him go faster. So we're going to go ahead and try to get off this guy before I bug out. Um, but yeah, um, this has been the Chocobo mod. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to see more of this series, please let me know by liking, favoriting, commenting, subscribing. And uh, kind of give me some ideas of what you want to learn about Hexit. And I can do some uh, research and give you another uh, series. Um, I see that people really want to see more of my Hexit series. That one that's not a tutorial, but a playthrough. And um, I guess I'm going to continue that one. But uh, yeah, until next time guys, thanks for watching. Goodbye.